Allegiance by retired United States Air Force Senior Master Sergeant Jack R. Van Buskirk. Please remain upstanding as we are led in invocation by legislator Jim Rumfeld. Heavenly Father, we come before you today in humility and faith. We thank you for all the blessings you bestowed upon us. We ask that you be with us and be with the fire, first responders, police, fire, EMS, and military as they serve our communities, and please keep them safe. We ask for your guidance and engage, that you help us engage in meaningful discussion today as we serve you and the people of Allegheny County. We pray that you show us the way and fill us with wisdom. In Jesus' name I pray, thank you. Amen. Thank you both. Madam Clerk, roll call please. Mr. Barnes. Present. Mrs. Burdick. Here. Mr. Curran. Here. Mr. Sear. Mr. Demick. Here. Mr. Fanton. Here. Mrs. Hancha. Here. Mr. Harris. Here. Mr. Havey. Here. Mr. Healy. Here. Mr. Rickey. Here. Mrs. Ricketts Swales. Here. Mrs. Root. Mr. Rumfelt. Here. And Mr. Stocken. Yes. 13 present, 2 absent. Thank you. We'll provide a copy of the board meeting minutes of May 8th. At this time, we need a motion to approve those minutes. Motions made by Legislator Rumfelt and seconded by Legislator Hanchett. Any additions or corrections? If not, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Those are carried. You are also provided a copy of the Committee of the Whole meeting minutes of May 15th, and we need a motion to approve those minutes. Mr. Fanton makes the motion, seconded by Legislator Curran. Additions or corrections? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? And those are approved. Uh, this Part of the meeting is designated for public comment. If there's any members of the public that wish to address the board, we ask that you approach the podium at the front of the room, provide your name and town of residence. We'd be happy to hear from you. Seeing none, we will continue with the agenda. So after a long hiatus, we're thankful for the opportunity to recognize a veteran here in these chambers. I want to thank my candidacy uh, for finding one for us to join us today and organizing this visit. Um, Jack R. Van Buskirk, if you could join me at the front of the room, please. And if you would like Brenda, his wife, join us as well. Welcome. You can come right over on this side if you would, please. So it's been a long tradition in this, uh, in these chambers to recognize our veterans. We're always thankful to be able to do it. Uh, Mr. Van Buskirk uh, is a resident of Andover, New York. He served in the United States Air Force, uh, achieving the rank of Senior Master Sergeant, which is an E-8. Uh, he entered active duty September 30th, 1977, discharged from active duty in 1983, although he continued in the Air Force Reserve from October of 1983 to October of 2010. His primary specialty was as a security forces superintendent, and uh, over the course of his career, he was stationed at Hickam Air Force Base in Hawaii as non-commissioned officer in charge, F.E. Warren Air Force Base in Wyoming, as a re response fire team leader, assistant flight chief and nuclear missile security, sounds important. Mount Home Air Force Base, Idaho, superintendent of training and security forces manager. Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri is WSA, which is Wing Staff Agency response team leader. Eskin Village in Saudi Arabia, he served as a flight chief, joint surveillance detection team member with AFOSI. So do they say AFOSI or they just say OFI? Oh. We use OSI. Okay, there you go. Which is Air Force Office of Special Investigations, which also sounds quite impressive. Um, later at Griffiths Air Force Base in New York, uh, 
on patrol and with Space Command Security and in Cold Lake, Canada as a liaison uh, for the United States Forces. He's attended the Security Police Forces Academy and the NCO Orientation Supervisors course, as well as the NCO Academy. The SNCO Academy, which is Senior Non-Commissioned Officer Academy as well, Drug and Narcotic Influence Symptomology course, AFOSI, First Sergeant Seminar at Desert Warfare School, uh, 1997 and 2002. So bear with me, folks, but it's worth reading through this list, okay, of medals and awards he received over the course of his career. Uh, Meritorious Service Medal, Air Force Achievement Medal, the Air Force Good Conduct Medal with one device, Air Reserve Meritorious Service Medal with six devices, National Defense Medal with one device, Air Force Expeditionary Medal, Global War on Terrorism Service Medal, Armed Forces Reserve Medal, Hourglass M3, Below the Zone Senior Airman Basewide 1979, 366 Security Forces SC, SNCO of the Year in 2001, Outstanding Security Forces Reserve Component Wing Level 2002, Outstanding Performer Promoted One Grade Over Position in 2003 as a Senior Master Sergeant. Other awards include the Meritorious Unit Award, Air Force Outstanding Unit Award, Air Force Overseas Ribbon to Long Tour, Air Force Longevity Award, NCO Professional Education Graduate, Small Arms Expert, and Marksmanship Ribbon. So we're thankful that he's joined today by his wife, Brenda. He also has a son, Samuel Lamphere Van Brunswick, Buskirk, excuse me. He has a daughter, we were speaking beforehand, uh, who attended ROTC and is now an Air Force captain. Her name is Kaylee Alfieri. Alfieri. And he has another daughter, Angela Corky. He's a not too long ago retired teacher at Weissville Central School, and he continues to be a member of the National Education Association. So with all that being said, um, we want to, as a board of legislators, sincerely thank you for your service to this county and to our nation. And I hope you will accept, as a token of our appreciation, this certificate recognizing your service, as well as this honors pin uh, representing Allegheny County. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> i just like to say a few things. Uh, thank you for allowing me this honor to lead the pledge. The pledge is very important to me because of my background in social studies as a teacher and my military service to my country. For me, the pledge signifies loyalty to our nation, which stands united under the divine providence of God. This pledge also reminds me of the privilege of living in a republic where we pick our representatives. Thank you, legislators, for representing the people of this county. And again, God bless, and thank you for this honor. Hey, Mike, can I ask you to join us, and Mike Hennessy as well, will you join us for the pictures, please? Yeah, if you would. Well, at least you're not having to speak, right? Is the podium out of the way? Get rid, of, get rid of the riffraff. These are hers. I think this one might be mine. I think you're right. That's great. Now I'd like to ask up to the front of the room, please, the president of IMPACT, Friends Improving Allegheny County Trails, 
uh, Glenn Gephardt, if you could join me, please. <laughs> Welcome. Glenn is here to uh, join us in celebrating National Trails Day and issue a proclamation for Trails Day in Allegheny County. Before we do that, um, Impact has been doing a lot of great work, um, in particular up on the state forest land of Phillips Creek um, in the town of Ward. And um, why don't we do this, Glenn? I'll pass out for you. And then uh, Brenda can get you set up with your PowerPoint. He's going to give us a, a quick presentation on some of the good work they're doing up there at Phillips Creek. And then we're going to read a proclamation and be all set. Very well. All right, here you are. All right. Um, yep. <clears throat> okay, well, thank you. Um, thank you for having me today. Um, Impact is almost three years thank old you. as a nonprofit. And um, we um, originally got started because the the ski trails at Phillips Creek, uh, I moved in next door to them about 10 years ago and wondered why nobody groomed them. What, what, I, well, why don't they groom the trails there? And I found out there was no them to do that. And so we decided uh, we'll, we'll want to do that. So um, Impact formed. Uh, we got a uh, volunteer service agreement with the DEC. And um, we've been able to, um, to do semi-annual trail maintenance days in April and September with college students, um, as well as um, applying for different grants to improve the trails. So this is the bridge. Whoops. Do I need to be on there? She's controlling that up there. What? Well, I know, but do I have to? Do you have to have me on there, too? Oh, no. No, I don't want to be on there. People will see what I look like. There we go. OK. So um, this is um, a bridge that we built um, along uh, Trail 2 up at Phillips Creek um, State Forest. And the little um, uh, shape there is where the, where the trail or where the, where the bridge ended up. So um, what we did was um, applied to Parks and Trails New York to, um, to uh, build a bridge. So um, went down to Alvin Miller's uh, sawmill down in Whitesville and got um, some locally sourced lumber. Um, the construction and trades students at Alfred State College helped us put it together. So they took all that, um, all that lumber and they made it a, a 30 foot long, 8 foot wide timber mat. Um, they took all the pieces, which were all 10 and 15 and 5s kind of um, mixed in there, and um, they drilled holes all the way through them. Uh, with Don Tinder as their instructor, and he was really great. Um, they had to measure these all precisely because the rods had to go all the way through the timber mat. And so those threaded rods, three quarter inch rods, all, um, every two feet went down and um, tied all these uh, timbers together. Um, then they took all the deck boards and they uh, laid them out, they pre drilled them, they countersunk them, they numbered them so that when we got out into the um, into the woods, we'd be, know just where they go and it would all go back together very quickly. So that's what they did. And then the heavy, heavy equipment students helped us out by lifting it uh, with a couple of machines there. And um, then, um, that, that's a video that's supposed to play. Here comes the low boy. Can you click on that, maybe? I don't know. There you go. Okay. Oh. Okay. Never mind. Anyway, um, the low boy came and they loaded it up and um, they brought it over to um, the parking area um, up on 244 um, the, uh, for the Phillips Creek uh, horse trails, hiking trails, cross country ski, uh, ski trails. So they brought that over. Okay. Um, they got to um, unload the low boy. Uh, we had a contractor with a mini excavator take it right off. This was actually really good hands-on work for the construction trade students and for the heavy equipment folks. They got to do uh, real work to produce a real, uh, real product. So they pulled that off. That. Okay. Uh, the, the bridge is about a half mile back from the trailhead. So if you want to come take a look at it, it's only about a half mile down um, in the woods on the trail two. And um, our contractor uh, dragged it all the way back there. And the students actually carried all the boards back there too, um, which is they, a half mile was farther than they thought it was. Um, but we got it all down there and pulled it back. And uh, we got it 
delivered right to that little creek, which is only about four feet down and about 20 feet across, but we thought a 30 foot bridge would be uh, would be better. So our contractor to hold that mat in place. Uh, this is happening, by the way, on Halloween. This is about on the 31st when we did all this. We moved all that. They packed a nice uh, footer for us, so it'll be nice and solid. Level. And uh, pull the timber mat over. Pull it back on the other one. So uh, the contractor, uh, local fellow, pull it back. Put the right on the footer. Pull it back this way. Then on the other side, they, they uh, placed the other footer, dragged it back up on there, and by the end of about four hours from the time it was delivered, we had um, the approaches leveled, the base was in place, and once again, this is the afternoon of, of Halloween. The next day, the students came out from um, Alfred State College, and they um, set all the deck boards on. And since they were numbered and um, countersunk and, and um, ready to go, Everything went went smoothly onto there. So we took that all the uh, oak railing and um, uh, put all those on together. And when we were done, oh, they had extra wood, so they built a little bench. I didn't know about it until they had it out there, and they put their names on it too. Um, it says Alfred State College Bench uh, Building Trades, Class of 2025. Okay, and so that's what the bridge looks like with everybody on it. Uh, it weighs about five tons, by the way. It's not, it's not an insubstantial, unsubstantial bridge. It's, 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 it's heavy, um, and it's heavy duty. Okay, and so uh, we need to thank the um, um, assemblymen and uh, senators and congressmen that um, wrote us letters of support so the Parks and Trails New York would fund, uh, fund part of this. Um, and um, at our ribbon cutting ceremony, they gave us um, uh, some recognition, which was nice. Um, we'd also like to thank Saputo Dairy Community Bank and Allegheny County Area Foundation, who all gave us grants to, um, to help fund, uh, fund this project. Um, plus the college students and faculty at Alfred State and um, their Workforce Development Center, which is turning out um, great, great students that can go do work uh, um, as soon as soon as they as soon as they graduate. So um, that's uh, what we did. And Alvin Miller was great down at the cell mill. And so that's what uh, that's what we did. And so it's now wide enough that our snowmobile and our cross country ski trail groomer can get across there. And so trail two um, in the winter is um, fully accessible now for cross country skiing and snowshoeing. So come on out. So. That's it. All right. Okay. I can hang with me for a second. Okay. Please. So uh, Glenn is probably a good potential future candidate for community service recognition. So not only is he doing all this great work with impact, I know he was a long time uh, Boy Scout leader. Is that right? Still with Troop 9. Still and yeah. yeah. So he, you've got a son that serves in the military as well, right? Um, yep. Almost 20 years in the Air Force Academy, yeah. Yeah. And uh, I know Glenn and I um, go way back with uh, National Ski Patrol, and I got to brag on you. I think it was two years ago, Glenn was the Eastern Division of the National Ski Patrol, which is the largest division in terms of number of instructors. It's all of the Northeast, including Maine and the fancy pants up in New Hampshire and Vermont. Uh, he was recognized as the uh, OEC Instructor of the Year for the Eastern Division, which is an incredible honor, uh, especially coming out of a small hill like Swain. Um, so, if you would indulge me, Glenn, uh, as I read a proclamation. Whereas the first Saturday in June is recognized as National Trails Day, acknowledging the benefits provided by federal, state, and local trails for recreation and exposure to nature, and whereas National Trails Day is also a chance to thank the many park employees, land agencies, trail developers, and especially volunteers for their work in maintaining trails, and whereas trails provide more than hiking opportunities, such as access to waterways, 
bird watching, geocaching, biking. I'm going to start going off the script here. Horseback riding, cross country skiing, grooming, and so much more. And whereas National Trails Day is designated for public events to advocate for, maintain, and clean up public lands and trails, now therefore I, W. Brooke Harris, Chairman of the Allegheny County Board of Legislators, do hereby declare June 1, 2024, as Trails Day in Allegheny County. Okay, as we continue down the proclamation superhighway here, I would like to invite up Shelly Freeman. Welcome. Bonnie Van House and our EMS coordinator was scheduled to join us today for EMS week and for Stop the Bleed Day. Um, she was called away unexpectedly and we're thankful that Shelly was able to come down here. I'm going to go uh, out of order today. I'm going to read uh, two proclamations first, and then Shelley has a few words she'd like to share with us. Whereas 2024 marks the 130th anniversary of Emergency Medical Services Week, and whereas emergency medical services are a vital public service, and whereas Allegheny County has groups of dedicated emergency medical service providers who are ready to provide life-saving care to those in need 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and whereas access to quality emergency care dramatically improves the survival and recovery of those who experience sudden injury or illness, and whereas emergency medical services has grown to fill a gap by providing important out-of-hospital care, including preventative medicine, follow-up care, and access to telemedicine, and whereas Allegheny County's emergency medical services system consists of first responders, emergency medical technicians, critical care technicians, paramedics, dispatchers, firefighters, educators, administrators, as well as trained members of the public, and whereas the members of an emergency medical services team, whether career or volunteer, engage in thousands of hours of specialized training and continuing education to enhance their life-saving skills, and whereas it is appropriate to recognize the value and the accomplishments of emergency medical service providers, providers by designating Emergency Medical Services Week, now, therefore, I, W. Brooke Harris, Chairman of the Allegheny County Board of Legislators, in recognition of this event, do hereby proclaim the week of May 19 to 25, 2024, as Medical Emergency Medical Services Week in Allegheny County. There you go. But wait, there's more. Whereas Stop the Bleed is a national public health campaign launched at a White House ceremony in 2015, and whereas its goal is to save lives by training people across the country how to stop traumatic bleeding, and whereas excessive bleeding is the leading cause of death for those under the age of 40, and whereas the campaign is a public-private partnership led by the United States Department of Defense and supported by a number of organizations, including the United States Department of Homeland Security, the Stop the Bleed Coalition, the American Red Cross, the American College of Surgeons, the American College of Emergency Physicians, and the American Heart Association, and whereas the campaign is based on the lessons the Department of Defense learned in Afghanistan and on Iraq on the best ways to treat traumatic injuries involving severe blood loss, and whereas each year the fourth Thursday of May has been proclaimed Stop the Bleed Day by the campaign to engage the public to learn more about how to become empowered to save lives, now therefore I, W. Brooke Harris, Chairman of the Allegheny County Board of Legislators, do hereby proclaim May 23, 2024 as a special day to show our support of Stop the Stop the Bleed campaign and proclaim it as Stop the Bleed Day in Allegheny County. Ms. Freeman, the microphone is yours. Thank you. The theme for this year's 50th anniversary EMS week is honoring our past, forging our future. With that being said, we would like to take this time to thank both the past and present EMS of our county for the selfless work that sometimes goes or has gone unnoticed or unappreciated. We know that the EMS providers give of their personal time to assist those in need, both on scene and in the halls before and after calls. We want to acknowledge the families of our EMS providers as well for their support and understanding to allow our providers to do what they do and the unpredictability that it leaves them with. Our county EMS re providers respond to 
over a thousand calls in a year, which amounts to countless hours of coverage. We are thankful to have the volunteer agencies and the commercial agency who work together for the well-being of our citizens. In acknowledgement of Stop the Bleed Day, our office is working to spread the word and offer training on Stop the Bleed. We want to educate the public should the situation arise and the need present itself for assistance so that it can be provided prior to ambulances arriving. Bonnie owes you one. <laughs> okay, and finally, we have one more proclamation this afternoon. There's a proclamation recognizing Poppy Day on May 24th. Before I read the proclamation, Legislator Healy, would you like to provide any words? Well, as, as you all know, we'll be celebrating uh, uh, Memorial Day uh, this coming Monday. Uh, in our own communities. It's usually a community-wide uh, event, and I encourage everyone to, to get out and, and uh, uh, su support their local veterans organizations and and remember their veterans uh, and participate in, in those celebrations in their community. Uh, many of them have parades and uh, in honor of it, and, and they have uh, the 21-gun salute to, at the cemeteries. Uh, and it's a, uh, a lot of hard work by uh, your, your, uh, all your people, especially your veterans that participate. But uh, the, the main purpose of Memorial Day is uh, to, uh, to honor those who have paid the supreme sacrifice uh, in, in war and, and gave their life in war. And uh, I will just tell you a little bit about um, the poppy itself, uh, the rumor poppy is an artificial flower worn in many countries to commemorate their military personnel who died in war. Uh, poppies were first are produced by veterans associations who exchange poppies for charitable donations and used to give financial, social, and emotional support to members and veterans of the armed forces. It's inspired by the war poem in Flanders Field and pr promoted by Moina Michael. They were first used near the end of World War I to commemorate uh, the British and the United States military casualties of the war. Madame Gurren established the first Poppy Days to raise funds for veterans, widows, and orphans. And uh, they've all been used to, for liberty bonds, as well as charities such as the Red Cross. So all the funds go for, for uh, those purposes. And the day is, uh, although it's, uh, we all appreciate all our veterans, uh, 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 the day is to honor those who paid the supreme sacrifice in the time of war. And I would ask us all to have a moment of silence, if we could. Um, Thank you, and uh, on behalf of all the veterans and in uh, memory of those departed ones. Thank you, Legislator Healy. A proclamation. Whereas the American Legion family brought po National Poppy Day to the United States by asking Congress to designate the Friday before Memorial Day as National Poppy Day, and whereas National Poppy Day is a strong renewal of our nation's commitment to a powerful reminder of the cost of our freedom with 100 years of rich tradition, and whereas millions of people worldwide wear, display, and distribute the poppy as a call to honor living vet veterans and those who lost their lives, and whereas the Allegheny County Board of Legislators wishes to honor the sacrifices that people in the military make to protect our country, now therefore I, W. Brooke Harris, Chairman of the Allegheny County Board of Legislators, do hereby proclaim Friday, May 24, 2024, to be Poppy Day in Allegheny County and encourage all citizens to support our military community by promoting the significance and meaning of the poppy. Thank you.
too late to declare May 22nd Proclamation Day in Allegheny <laughs> County. <laughs> Anything on our desks today? Yes, on your desk is a copy of the June 2024 calendar. Are there going to be any changes? Please note that there is a Committee of the Whole on the first Wednesday, June 5th at 10 a.m. Public hearings on June 12th at 2 and 7. A Committee of the Whole at 9.30 on Thursday, June 20th. Please note that the um, that June 19th is being declared as Juneteenth and all of our meetings that day are being moved to Thursday. We received a report of the veterans death for the periods May 18th, 2023 through May 17th, 2024. You were also forwarded to 2023 annual reports from the county attorney, economic development, forests, IDA, planning, planning board, social services, tourism, and youth bureau. We received correspondence from Carolyn Miller thanking the board for recognizing and honoring her at a recent board meeting. We received notice of the next fire advisory board meeting. It's going to be held on Thursday, May 23rd at 7 p.m. at the Crossroads Center. W. Brooke Harris, Chairman of the Allegheny County Board of Legislators, hereby appoints the following as a member of the Allegheny County Land Bank Corporation Board of Directors for the remainder of a two-year term, effective immediately and expiring September 30th, 2025. That member is Robert Salzer, and the appointment is subject to confirmation by the board. Chairman Harris declared May 19th through the 25th is Emergency Medical Services Week. He declared May 23rd is Stop the Bleed Day in Allegheny County. May 24th is Poppy Day and June 1st is Trails Day in Allegheny County. As we get into resolutions here, would someone care to make a motion to consider resolution? Oh, I'm sorry. Mr. Chairman. Go ahead. Thank you. <laughs> I would like to introduce local law intro number 2-2024, print number 1. This is a local law amending local law number 3 of the year 1993 and local law 1-2005, providing for a permanent plan of reapportionment for the Allegheny County Board of Legislators. Thank you. Okay, now would anyone care to take a resolution resolution intro number 237 of 24 out of order? Thank you. Motion is made by Legislator Rumfeld, seconded by Legislator Havey. All those in favor say aye. aye. Opposed? And that's carried. Would someone like to make a motion to approve that resolution? Oh. Thank you. can read it. Resolution intro number 237-24. Resolution recognizing and thanking Wayne Grant for his extraordinary contributions to the betterment of Allegheny County. This resolution is being offered by the entire board. It was not pre-filed and it will require a two-thirds vote to consider from the floor. On the two-thirds, the motion is made by Legislator Rumfeld, seconded by Legislator Havey. All those in favor say aye. Opposed, and that's carried. And on the resolution itself, the motion is made by Legislator Rumfeld, seconded by Legislator Havey. If I could ask Mr. Grant and his family to join me up front, please. As they come up, I do want to thank the District 4 legislators, legislators Rumfeld, Havey, and Barnes for uh, recommending uh, Mr. Grant for this recognition today. Welcome. Thank you. And welcome to you all. This is just a portion. All <laughs> oh, right. This is just a portion of his loved ones here. <laughs> Mr. Grant has been an active community member in the town of Andover for many years. He served as town board member for 22 years. Uh, and 
Andover Lions Club member for the last 40 years, Lynch uh, Burgett American Legion member for 15 years, president and caretaker of the Valley Brook Cemetery in Andover for over 10 years, and has either been a member or worked uh, with the Andover Fourth of July Committee for many years. Uh, he's demonstrated his commitment and dedication to Andover's youth by serving as the Andover Marching Band Color Guard Director in the 1990s, winning many awards, uh, past assistant coach for the boys' soccer team, and annual guest speaker for Andover's high school classes, addressing the importance of community service and volunteerism. In addition to assisting with bringing the Vet Vietnam Memorial Wall to Andover, uh, he chaired the 1984 Statue of Liberty celebration and secured donations from individuals and businesses to purchase 50 state flags and the large com uh, community American flag. And through his efforts, the state flags, which grace Andover's Main Street during all patriotic facility uh, holidays, have been replaced three times and the community flag has been replaced twice. He chaired the 9-11 program uh, and organized trips to Ground Zero in Shanksville, Pennsylvania to present memorials and flags from Allegheny County residents. Uh, he also raised funds for a memorial park in Staten Island, which is an area which suffered the most casualties uh, in 9-11. There's a plaque identifying Allegheny County's and Mr. Grant's contribution there in the park. While serving in the United States Navy from 1964 to 68, he was commissioned and sailed on the USS Guam, LPH-9. What kind of ship is that? It's a landing platform helicopter carrier. Oh, interesting. Um, he has had an impressive career in the mil uh, medical field. He was an employee at Jones Memorial Hospital during the flood of 1972 and worked at the hospital for 72 straight hours during that event. In addition to his work with area hospitals and the Southern Tier Home Medical Supply, uh, he's past president of the Wellsville Area JCs and helped to raise funds for Buffalo's Children's Hospital. For those reasons, I think it appropriate for this board to consider passing this resolution today. Is there any further comment or discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? And the resolution is approved. <laughs> this is for you. Thank you. I'll keep it short. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for many years, I have met so many people from all across Allegheny County. And there's the county legislators, and that man right there has helped me out tremendously. So is my candidacy on numerous occasions. Um, there are just so many good individuals throughout this county. And I could not do it all myself without the support of my family, my wife. Uh, there's been times. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've, I've threatened to move his bed someplace else. Yes. <laughs> but a lot of memories through, and met so many people, past and present. And it was an honor to represent not only my community, but Allegheny County in any way, shape, and form I could. I. I have to say that's all I got. Thank you. <laughs> Let me get this out of the way. If we get the District 4 legislators up here for the picture. Yeah.
Would anyone care to make a motion to block resolution intro number 214 of 24 through 216 of 24 to consider together? Thank you, Legislator Rickett Swale, second by Legislator Hanchett. All those in favor say aye. aye. Opposed, and that's carried. Resolution intro number 214-24, a resolution establishing Juneteenth is a recognized and observed county holiday. Resolution intro number 215-24, a resolution establishing Juneteenth and Christmas Eve is recognized and observed holidays for department heads and non-unit employees. Resolution intro number 216-24, a resolution recognizing June 19th, Juneteenth, is an observed holiday for the Deputy Sheriff's Association and the New York State Nurses Association. These resolutions are being offered by the Personnel Committee and have committee approval. Motions made by Legislator Rickett Swales, seconded by Legislator Hanchett. Discussion? Roll call. Mr. Rumfeld? Yes. Mr. Stocken? Yes. Mr. Barnes? Uh, no. Mrs. Burdick? Yes. Mr. Curran? Yes. Mr. Demick? Yes. Mr. Fanton? Yes. Mrs. Hancha? Yes. Mr. Harris? Yes. Mr. Havey? Yes. Mr. Healy? Yes. Mr. Rickey? Yes. Mrs. Rickett Swales? Yes. 12 ayes, 1 no, 2 absent. Those resolutions are approved. Resolution intro number 217-24. Creation of one temporary full-time position of office aid within the treasurer's office. This resolution is being offered by the Ways and Means and Personnel Committees and he has both committees approval. Mr. Stocken makes the motion, uh, seconded by Legislator Fan. Discussion? Roll call. Mr. Rumfeld? Yes. Mr. Stocken? Mr. Barnes? Uh, aye. Mrs. Burdick? Yes. Mr. Curran? Yes. Mr. Demick? Yes. Mr. Fanton? Yes. Mrs. Hancha? Yes. Mr. Harris? Yes. Mr. Havey? Yes. Mr. Healy? Yes. Mr. Rickey? Yes. Mrs. Rickett Swales? Yes. 13 ayes, 2 absent. That's carried. Resolution intro number 218-24. Approval of amendment to resolution number 443 of 23, a resolution in relation to the compensation of section four non-graded county officers. This resolution is being offered by the Ways and Means Committee and has committee approval. Motion made by Legislator Stocken, seconded by Legislator Fanton. Discussion? Roll call. Mr. Rumfeld? Yes. Mr. Stocken? Yes. Mr. Barnes? Mrs. Burdick? Yes. Mr. Curran? Yes. Mr. Demick? Yes. Mr. Fanton? Yes. Mrs. Hanchett? Yes. Mr. Harris? Yes. Mr. Havey? Yes. Mr. Healy? Yes. Mr. Rickey? Yes. Mrs. Rickett Swales? Yes. 13 ayes, 2 absent. Resolutions approved. Would anyone care to make a motion to block resolution intro numbers 219 of 24 through 220 of 24 to consider together? Thank you, Mr. Rickey, seconded by Mr. Havey. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, that's carried. 
Resolution intro number 21924, creation of a solid waste advisory committee in, county of, in the County of Allegheny. Resolution intro number 220 of 24, appointment of members to the Allegheny County Solid Waste Advisory Board. These resolutions are being offered by the Public Works Committees and have committees, committee approval. Mr. Fenton makes the motion, seconded by Legislator Demick. Discussion? These resolutions can be voice voted. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? And they are approved. Resolution intro number 221-24. Resolution establishing the Allegheny County 250th American Revolution Commission. This resolution is being offered by the Resource Management and Committee and has committee approval. Is there a motion? Thank you, Legislator Hanchett, seconded by Legislator Havey. Discussion? This resolution can be voice voted. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? And that's carried. Resolution intro number 222-24. Resolution urging the state of New York to enact, to enact the rescue EMS package of legislation to strengthen our emergency medical services. This resolution is being offered by the Public Safety Committee and has committee approval. Mr. Havey makes the motion, seconded by Legislator Rumfeld. Discussion? Appropriate to do on EMS week. This resolution can be voice voted. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? And that's approved. Resolution intro number 223-24, creation of one temporary full-time position of office aid for the Office of the Conflict Defender. This resolution is being offered by the Public Safety Committee and has committee approval. Mr. Avey? Would you like to withdraw? It's not ready for prime time. Thank you. We don't need a vote on it, do we? Vote to withdraw? No. Right, County Attorney? That's correct. Thank you. Resolution intro number 224-24. Approval of amendment to state environmental quality review regarding Allegheny County, County Road 51, and County Road 20 S-curves development. This resolution is being offered by the Public Works Committee and has committee approval. Motions made by Legislator Fanton, seconded by Legislator Demick. Discussion? This resolution can be voice voted. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? And that's approved. Would anyone care to make a motion to block resolution intro numbers 225 of 24 through 230 of 24 to consider together? Motion made by Legislator Rickey, seconded by Legislator Curran. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? And that's approved. Resolution intro number 225-24, reappropriation and reallocation of the New York State Board of Elections 2021 and 2023 Technology Innovation and Election Resource Tier Grants. Resolution intro number 226-24, reappropriation of unspent 2022 to 2023 in 23 to 24 New York State Board of Election absentee prepaid postage grant funds. Resolution intro number 22724, reappropriation of unspent funds from the 22, I'm sorry, 2022 Department of Homeland Security and Emergency Services State Homeland Security Program grant for the Office of Emergency Services. Resolution intro number 228-24, reappropriation of unspent funds from the 2022 Department of Homeland Security and Emergency Services Emergency Management Performance Grant for the Office of Emergency Services. Resolution intro number 229-24, reappropriation of unspent funds from the 2021 Department of Homeland Security and Emergency Services State Homeland Security Program Grant for the Office of Emergency Services. 
Resolution intro number 23024, reappropriation of unspent funds from the New York State Department of Criminal Justice Services Body Worn Camera Program grant for the Sheriff's Office. Is there a motion to approve those blocked resolutions? The motion is made by Legislator Havey, seconded by Legislator Rumfeld. Discussion? Roll call. Mr. Rumfeld? Yes. Mr. Stocken? Yes. Mr. Barnes? Aye. Mrs. Burdick? Yes. Mr. Curran? Yes. Mr. Demick? Yes. Mr. Fanton? Yes. Mrs. Hanchett? Yes. Mr. Harris? Yes. Mr. Havey? Yes. Mr. Healy? Yes. Mr. Rickey? Yes. Mrs. Ricketts Swales? Yes. 13 ayes, 2 absent. Those resolutions are approved. Would anyone care to make a motion to block resolution intro numbers 213 of 24 through 232 of 24? Excuse me, 231 of 24 through 232 of 24 to consider together. Uh, thank you, Mr. Fanton. Seconded by Legislator Ricky. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? And that's carried. Resolution intro number 231-24. Approval of agreement between the County of Allegheny and MS Fire Protection LLC for quarterly inspection of fire protection equipment at the Allegheny County Jail and Public Safety Facility for the Department of Public Works, authorizing the Chairman of the Board to execute said agreement. Resolution intro number 232-24, approval of agreement between the County of Allegheny and m and Fire Protection LLC for quarterly inspection of fire protection equipment at the courthouse complex for the Department of Public Works, authorizing the Chairman of the Board to execute said agreement. Is there a motion to approve those resolutions? Motion made by Legislator Fanton, seconded by Legislator Demick. Discussion? Roll call. Mr. Rumfeld? Yes. Mr. Stocken? Yes. Mr. Barnes? Aye. Mrs. Burdick? Yes. Mr. Curran? Yes. Mr. Demick? Yes. Mr. Fanton? Yes. Mrs. Hancha? Yes. Mr. Harris? Yes. Mr. Havey? Yes. Mr. Healy? Yes. Mr. Rickey? Yes. Mrs. Ricketts Swales? Yes. 13 ayes, 2 absent. Those resolutions are approved. Resolution intro number 23324. Approval of agreement between the County of Allegheny and the Allegheny County Historical Society for the donation of genealogy records and research, authorizing the Chairman of the Board to execute said agreement. This resolution is being offered by the Resource Management Committee and has committee approval. Motion made by Legislator Curran, seconded by Legislator Hanchett. Discussion? Roll call. Mr. Rumfeld? Yes. Mr. Stocken? Yes. Mr. Barnes? Aye. Mrs. Burdick? Yes. Mr. Curran? Yes. Mr. Demick? Yes. Mr. Fanton? Yes. Mrs. Hancha? Yes. Mr. Harris? Yes. Mr. Havey? Yes. Mr. Healy? Yes. Mr. Rickey? Yes. Mrs. Ricketts Swales? Yes. 13 ayes, 2 absent. That resolution is approved. Resolution intro number 23424. Approval of agreement between the County of Allegheny and Allegheny County Agricultural Society for payment of 2024 budgetary appropriation, authorizing the Chairman of the Board to execute said agreement. This resolution is being offered by the Resource Management Committee and has committee approval. Mr. Curran makes the motion, seconded by Legislator Hanchett. Discussion? Roll call. Oh. Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Barnes. This is the $8,500 uh, annual. That's correct. I'm going to vote no because I think it's way too too little. I think the county should be sporting on an annual basis the, the fairgrounds at a much higher rate than $8,500 a year. Thank you. The fair board probably appreciates the sentiment, but not the vote. <laughs> Everybody, everyone's, Mr. Healy. everyone's always free to contribute in their own ways, uh, too. I'm sure they take all, any and all donations. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Healy. Further discussion? Roll call. Mr. Rumfeld? Yes. Mr. Stacken? Yes. Mr. Barnes? No. Mrs. Burdick? Yes. Mr. Curran? Yes. Mr. Demick? Yes. Mr. Fanton? Yes. Mrs. Hanchett? Yes. 
Mr. Harris? Yes. Mr. Havey? Yes. Mr. Healy? Yes. Mr. Rickey? Yes. Mrs. Ricketts Swales? Yes. 12 ayes, 1 no, 2 absent. The resolution is approved. Resolution intro number 23524. Approval of Memorandum of Understanding between the County of Allegheny and the Finger Lakes Trail Conference for the construction of a lean-to on a portion of the Finger Lakes Trail, authorizing the Chairman of the Board to execute said agreement. This resolution is being offered by the Resource Management Committee and has committee approval. Motion made by Legislator Curran, seconded by Legislator Hanchett. Discussion? This resolution can be voice voted. All those in favor say aye. Opposed? And that's approved. Resolution intro number 23624. A resolution in support of the proposed State Assembly Bill number A2126 and the proposed State Senate Bill number S387, which provide for the payment of state aid to the Town of New Hudson and special districts therein for state land operated by the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation. This resolution is being offered by the Ways and Means Committee and has committee approval. It was not pre-filed and it will require a two-thirds vote to consider from the floor. On the two-thirds, the motion is made by Legislator Hanchett, seconded by Legislator Rickey. All those in favor say aye. Opposed, and that's carried. And on the resolution, the motion is made by Legislator Stocken, seconded by Legislator Fanton. Discussion? Mr. Chairman. Mr. Healy. Uh, as you know, uh, myself and my two colleagues from District 2 brought this uh, uh, to the, uh, uh, I believe it was Ways and Means is where we first started, uh, on behalf of uh, New Hudson uh, Town Board and uh, Supervisor Paragoid contacted us. And, and they definitely have a point there that the state doesn't keep up, as we all are well aware with all, <laughs> all revenues <laughs> streams from the state, that the, the, they don't uh, keep up with uh, the uh, additional costs. And uh, you know, I wish we, uh, we could expand this in the future to include all the towns that have uh, uh, state state lands and uh, maybe get a bigger movement going in that direction to make the state whole, everybody whole. Thank you. Thank you. Further discussion? If not, this resolution can be voice voted. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? And that's approved. Resolution intro number 23824. Resolution setting date of public hearing on local law intro number two of 24, print number one, a local law amending local law number three of the year 1993 and local law one of 2005, providing for a permanent plan of reapportionment for the Allegheny County Board of Legislators. This resolution is being offered by the Ways and Means Committee and has committee approval. It was not pre-filed and it will require a two-thirds vote to consider from the floor. On the two-thirds, motions made by Legislator Curran, seconded by Legislator Havey. Discussion? And we're going to roll call it. I, I have a discussion. Well, I'm sorry. I, I have a comment on it. We got a, I don't think it's discussion. If oh. I said discussion, I apologize. Okay. We don't have discussion on the two-thirds. We got to roll call that and then get it considered, right? Okay. Mr. Rumfeld? Yes. Mr. Stocken? Mr. Barnes? Aye. Mrs. Burdick? Yes. Mr. Curran? Yes. Mr. Demick? Yes. Mr. Fanton? Yes. Mrs. Hancha? Yes. Mr. Harris? Yes. Mr. Havey? Yes. Mr. Healy? No. Mr. Rickey? No. Mrs. Ricketts Swales? Yes. 11 ayes, 2 noes, 2 absent. Okay, that carries. And on the resolution itself, is there a motion? Motion made by Legislator Havey, seconded by Legislator Stocken. Discussion. Sorry about that, Legislator no, Hatchet. Right. Go ahead. That's all right. Um, I understand the importance of us um, getting it through to get it um, on our timeline, to get it ready for local law. Um, I guess I misunderstood. I probably would have voted no at this time because although I understand us doing it, I do, there's two maps that are there. This is only on map five and I still am in favor of option one. Thank you. 
Mr. Healy. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I'll limit my remarks because I probably said enough earlier. And uh, I apologize to any of my colleagues if I offended anybody's uh, sensitive uh, feelings on that matter. Uh, but but uh, my main focus is I think District 2, the district I represent, is get, getting uh, uh, robbed in this whole thing. You're taking, our, our population hasn't changed, uh, you know, in the last 30 years, it stayed roughly about the same, but yet we're the one losing, losing a town, a town we represent, uh, Ward, uh, which uh, we attended a, a board meeting up there. District 2 had a, a board meeting up there, and those people, uh, weren't happy, and if, if things change, I'd like to see West Almond in with them too, and that's another matter totally, but uh, we'd be happy happy to, to keep them uh, in, in uh, District 2, and I'll just let go with that. Thank you. Thank you. Further discussion? Mr. Stockham. Uh, I would just say that uh, any anybody that supports that and agrees with these things, come to the public hearing. All we're voting on right now is the public hearing date, at which time all this can be discussed again. And I would encourage anybody, please come at that time and share your thoughts. Thank you. Thank you. Further discussion? Roll call. Mr. Rumfeld? Reluctantly, I vote yes. Mr. Stocken? Yes. Mr. Barnes? Aye. Mrs. Burdick? Yes. Mr. Curran? Yes. Mr. Demick? Yes. Mr. Fanton? Yes. Mrs. Hanchett? No. Mr. Harris? Yes. Mr. Havey? Yes. Mr. Healy? No. Mr. Rickey? No. Mrs. Rickett Swales? Yes. 10 ayes, 3 noes, 2 absent. Resolution is approved. Resolution intro number 239-24, correcting 2024 Town of Independence and County Tax Bill for property owned by joint Joe Troyer, directing mailing of notice of approval of application for corrected tax rolls and ordering the town to correct the tax rolls, providing for chargebacks or credit. This resolution is being offered by the Ways and Means Committee and has committee approval. It was not pre-filed and it will require a two-thirds vote to consider from the floor. Is there a motion to consider? Uh, motion made by Legislator Rickey, seconded by Legislator Rumfeld. All those in favor say aye. Opposed, and that's carried. And on the resolution itself, motion made by Legislator Stocken, seconded by Legislator Fanton. Discussion? Roll call. Mr. Rumfeld? Yes. Mr. Stocken? Yes. Mr. Barnes? Aye. Mrs. Burdick? Yes. Mr. Curran? Yes. Mr. Demick? Yes. Mr. Fanton? Yes. Mrs. Hanchett? Yes. Mr. Harris? Yes. Mr. Havey? Yes. Mr. Healy? Yes. Mr. Rickey? Yes. Mrs. Rickett Swales? Yes. 13 ayes, 2 absent. The resolution is approved. How do you prefer the reading of the audit today? Collectively and by totals, please. So moved by Legislator Stocken, second by Legislator Fanton. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? That's approved. General government support, 198,977.38. Education, 2,302.41. Public safety, 253,319.73. Health, 19,200.29. Bus transportation, 120,116.04. Economic assistance and opportunity, 712,379.63. Culture and recreation, 26,007.32. Home and Community Services, 21,322.39. Employee Benefits, 6,588. Gen our general fund totaled 1,360,213.19. Payroll and taxes totaled 1,252,328.01.
Our capital funds totaled 767,298.90. Our other funds totaled 298,482.44 for a grand total of 3,678,322.54. Is there a motion to approve the audit? Thank you, Mr. Rickey. Seconded by Legislator Healy. Discussion? We got to pay our bills. Yes, sir. <laughs> Further discussion? Roll call. Mr. Rumsfeld? Yes. Mr. Stockin? Yes. Mr. Barnes? Aye. Mrs. Burdick? Yes. Mr. Curran? Yes. Mr. Demick? Yes. Mr. Fanton? Yes. Mrs. Hanchett? Yes. Mr. Harris? Yes. Mr. Havey? Yes. Mr. Healy? Yes. Mr. Rickey? Yes. Mrs. Rickett Swales? Yes. 13 ayes, 2 absent. The audit is approved. Is there anything for the good of the order today? If not, would anyone care to make a motion to adjourn? Mr. Chairman, as there appears to be no other business to come before the Board of Legislators this afternoon, I'd like to make a motion to adjourn. Motion made by Legislator Rumfeld, seconded by Legislator Rickey. All those in favor say aye. Opposed, and we are adjourned.